It's a cold night, baby, and I'm on my way to you And the snow keeps falling down Lit a fire and look down on the avenue I just love the way you carry the crown It's just me and you tonight and I'm all yours We'll be in our happy place I'm so close to being done. Look how great this is looking. We've basically done, it only took two coats actually. This is the thing I'm noticing with the Farrow and Bull paint, um, cause we've tried Dulux paints, Farrow and Bull, Lick, Valsper, and my favourites are the Lick and the Farron Bull. I mean, it's kind of obvious, it goes without saying, they're the most expensive. So, I mean, I don't blame you if you use the, like I've used all those paints and they're all good, um, but you do have to put more coats on them. So then it makes me argue whether it is cheaper because you have to use more paint. I don't know. My battery's flashing at me, so I'm gonna swap cameras. I'm now really loving this colour. I think when it first went on it and it was patchy, it was like, oh, I'm not so sure, but it looks gorgeous. And it is quite cozy, the fact that it's all green and it's screaming for some paintings. Like I think now we've done the groundwork of the painting being done and then probably over Christmas, I'm gonna do um, a bit of antique shopping and go and try and find some really amazing pictures to put on the walls. And it can be something that we add to over time. I do actually have one painting, Al, look at this. I thought we could put this in here that we got for the wedding as a frame. Go on, take that. Huh? Is this and this. So, yeah, we've got two things that we basically can mount and put in here. Go on, put it in the room. Oh, it's, yeah, no, it don't actually. So, it's this. Pretty dark, I'll put it in the light of here. And it's got, um, it's got a, what you call it, a boat. And at first I was like, oh, I hate the green mount. But now I'm thinking yeah, that's actually, such a close colour to the colour in there, it could really work. That's right. And it just needs a bit of a scrub, but I think that could look really gorgeous in the room. The great, sh the great ship race from China to London. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got um, this painting that I've shown you so many times um, from Etsy that we can frame. I've got loads of frames basically for the wedding, which I do recommend you do if you're going to have a wedding, is to get frames and you can use them for signs. Uh, it's got something I don't like inside of the minute. So I was thinking I can um, basically put something that I do like in there. Also the other bedroom needs more paintings. There's like one huge wall that has nothing on it and it needs something. And yeah, that's the one thing that's hard in houses is to like get the right pictures for the walls. But I think we can do it in here and I think it would look really, really cool with lots of things on the walls. And then um, I've just got some touching up to do on the ceiling. We've decided we're not gonna do a full white paint on the ceiling because I think that it's been done relatively recently and it just needs touching up. And then in the new year, cause the electrician was gonna come, but then his car um, needed to go in for an MOT and he wasn't able to make it before Christmas. He was doing us a favor anyway and squishing us in, but he was like, because of the car or his van, he was like, I can't actually fit you in anymore. So this is the light, the light's basically as it was before. Um, so after Christmas and the new year, we'll get the ceiling rose in, the new light fitting. And um, also I was thinking, Alex, I'd quite like to message that woman about another rug for in here to make it feel cozy. Rug on a carpet? Are you mad? We have a rug in the carpet in the other bedroom. Oh yeah, you too. Why? It's very traditional. They do it in all the old homes. Um, which paintbrush is that one? Oh yeah, but I'm um, I'm really liking it in here now. Good, I know you were worried. Hmm. The room is officially all painted. It's dark outside again, so you're getting another dark view because today is technically winter solstice. It's not winter till today, um, which is strange. I think when I found that out like five years ago or something, I was like, what? But the room is all painted. I went round, I don't know if I filmed it. I was losing my mojo a bit with it. I was screwing all the plugs in. I went around the top of the coving um, because the coving isn't very neat, actually, because I painted it green, it shows up a lot of the um, 
the imperfections more than white would because the coving at the edge of the, like the top of the ceiling would be neat to where the wall starts, but where it starts to the ceiling, if it was painted white, yeah, there's just like lots of lumps and bumps, but uh, it's also one of those things that I always obsess over whenever I'm decorating. And then the second it's finished, I never look at it ever again in my life. And I think that in the new year when um, everyone's gone home, we are going to add, uh, what's it called again? What? The, the trim around the edge of the door, I've forgotten the word for it. Architrave. Architrave around the edge of the door to this room and also to the other spare bedroom. And when we do that, I will also sand that little coving and we can do other things in here. Like there's like little DIY jobs that we need to do. And I think that'd be a good time to do it in between Christmas and New Year, potentially just like have a day where we just like do some like little DIY jobs and then that will finish that off. But it's very much like, it's like 90% done work in progress. Um, we've got to order the curtains, which I think we'll do between now and uh, New Year. We'll go to True Fabric and get them ordered. And yeah, but I think also, yeah, we haven't been able to do the lights, which would have been good, but nobody cares. Like, it's fine. Uh, we will get that done and hang this beautiful light. Have I shown it to you yet? Look how cool this is. This was from Facebook Marketplace, originally from Laura Ashley. And we got it for 20 quid. So that was such a steal. And I think that would look perfect. It's very like, I don't know, I just think it's not too in your face, but it is still a nice chandelier for in here. I'm actually liking the color a lot more now. I'm starting to like it. I know lots of you still think that I should have added the sort of contrasting trim, but we have that in every other room. So I thought, why not do something different? So. Maybe when it's all decorated, it'll be... I, I think now I've actually taken the, the, the sheets off, like seeing the wood in here. Like it's already, I'm like, I can, I can feel, I can get the sense when it's got the pictures up, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. It'll be exciting. We are officially moving into this room. There's just a couple things we need to get and finish. I think I said this already, but I'm bringing in basically everything in here that I think could look good in here. And then later on today, I've messaged someone on Facebook who I've bought lots of things from before. Um, and she's got so many great things. And I think I'm gonna get some botanical prints from her, maybe a mirror and also another bedside table. You probably saw at the start of Vlogmas that we picked up this table on Facebook and these lamps. Oh, it's switched off. Ugh. I'm in two minds about whether to change the lampshade color because they are green, so they kind of are the same color. Alex thinks it's quite cool because it kind of matches the wall. I, I think I'm gonna live with them like this and then if I do see some cool ones, we can swap them. I was thinking potentially getting like oversized scalloped um, lampshades in like this colour because we saw some at Rothay Manor when we were in the Lake District and they just looked very cool. But look how amazing these lampshade holders, what lamp posts, whatever you call them. Lamps, my brain. <laughs> and then this is a sewing basket, lots of you, or a sewing box, lots of you pointed out. Does this come out? It's a bit broken. But I love the barley twist legs. I love the fact that it's kind of contrasting. I love that it's dark. And then we're gonna be getting another table for this side. They're gonna be slightly different. I do quite like that in rooms and you have slightly different bedside tables. It's like a pot, it's like a plant table or plant stand, but it's about roughly the same height. So that will live there. This painting, so I'm thinking we hang this above the bed and I've got all the command strips to do that. And then I have to make a decision We've got this one, which is a lovely sleeping lady, which I thought could go on like this wall. Um, the thing I have an issue with, which I had the same issue with in the other spare bedroom, is when you've got like a bed or a wardrobe, it's easy to hang pictures amongst or next to things. Like you can create like a little area around a lamp and a table. But when you have one massive wall, it's quite difficult. And um, the other room, we haven't finished really this room it's eventually hopefully we're going to add some more pictures in here but as you can see you've got a painting here and these lovely 
botanical prints here but this whole wall is blank and I don't think it would look right if you had a gallery wall I feel like it would be too much in this room do you just embrace the fact that sometimes in rooms you have walls that just don't have anything on them should we put a mirror but then we've got this full length mirror here so it seems a bit pointless I kind of would like a armchair in here in the corner like a small one of those lovely little bedroom chairs that like are armchairs and I think that that would make the room feel cosier in this area but in this room I suppose I I'm just wondering what to do about this wall when we moved in here that was where all the hooks were you saw me fill it in so I don't need to fall off and they had like a they had like I think it was like six paintings that all kind of matched and they were all hung here it looked really lovely um so it's whether we do something like that like get some well I am getting those botanical prints but they're quite small you need quite a lot of them I don't know I'm getting two botanical prints so it's whether we do something with that or I do have this mirror um which someone did say to me, why don't you put a mirror on the opposite wall to bounce some of the light back in. So I've got this mirror on Facebook, the same place I got the lamps and the table from. And it's got this wooden frame. So this could hang on this wall. But then I just think sometimes when I go into rooms where they have mirrors like that on like a random wall, I'm like, I do think what's the practicality of that? Because you can't really see your full outfit so I just wonder about putting this there. It's not very practical because I was thinking of putting it over this chest of drawers, like so, because then you can like, when you're leaving, you can see your outfit or <laughs> on this wall, because then you've got like a full, I mean, maybe I should just put it on that wall and it doesn't need to be practical because I do also have this mirror which can be used to be practical and this can go above the dresser I think that's what we should do so I think boats there wooden mirror there hanging mirror there and then I've got this frame with this I don't like this in here um, it says York and Lancaster I mean Maybe some people would like this. I just think it looks a bit... It looks too... There's too much fuss happening, basically, in the mount inside. It's not my preference. So I'm wondering whether I put this in here. Is it too big? It's a little too big. However, the way that the mount is in there currently, I could be uber lazy. Because this is the thing that stops me from putting paintings up is laziness. I know it's so easy to just mount a painting because I do have mounting paper and you just cut it to fit. But reality is I'm not gonna do it. So I'm wondering, would that look really weird if you mounted it like that and it had white above and below? Or I cut it to size. But that seems like sacrilege. I'm having, I'm gonna have a think about this. It's a lovely picture. So I've gotta have a think about that one. Um, I also picked up the other day the most amazing things so we've got this chair which i also picked up the other day from the person i want to go get the prints from and the table from and i've got rugs from her for our living room in our other room this pillow was in a charity shop i haven't washed it yet i'm going to take the pillowcase off and wash it but can you believe the color match to the wall like it is insane and it's perfect size it's a teeny tiny little pillow and i'm going to put it on this chair so there's a nice little chair for you to sit on, but it's literally the same colour. I think I'll pop it like that. I'll neaten it up, obviously, but I just thought how cute and how crazy that it's the same colour. Um, we also got some other things from the charity shop, including this little vase, which I can pop a flower in when people come to stay. I don't think I'm going to put this bring, put this in this room. When I brought it in here, it doesn't look quite right. But I think this could live like on one of the bedside tables. We just had to fill the room up with a few extra little accessories. Um, I think we might go to Truro or Falmouth again over the Christmas break and try and get a, a rug or I'll look on Etsy. I got one on Etsy last time. We nearly bought one the other day from Unica, but it was orange and I thought it was a bit too much. So I want one that's maybe like 
pinky or purpley or red, like a bit more muted and some like lovely fluffy cushions. Like I feel like that's the centerpiece in the other bedroom, like these lovely cushions. Like I'm willing to spend, and I know some people think it's ridiculous. Like the other room people commented on how expensive the cushion covers that I got were. But I just think if you're saving money on furniture, like I don't buy new furniture, I only buy cheap furniture. I think spending money on either getting cushions upholstered in the same fabrics as the fabrics of the curtains, that kind of thing, or spending some money on some really beautiful cushions that are oversized and really plump. Top tip is to always get a size bigger inside of the pillow to the cover. So if I'm getting like a 20 inch cover to a pillow, the inside of the pillow will be 22 inches because it makes them look really full and get those on the bed and a lovely rug. And I just think that makes the room look expensive and like really finished because before you do that, I feel like, yeah, basically the moral of the story is I'd rather cut corners and save budget elsewhere and get like expensive, lovely bedding because it makes such a difference to the room and the way it feels. It feels like a hotel and like luscious. This has really inspired me and Alex to do our bedroom. So I think in the new year, that'll be our next project while we're waiting to book someone to do the bathroom because I think we're gonna try our hand at wallpapering that room and we need the electrician to come over to do the light in here. So we'll get him to do the light in here, the light in our bedroom and get a ceiling rose put in. And then we're gonna order some wallpaper and I think we're gonna try the room ourselves because we can get the electrician to also do the television because the wires aren't put into the wall yet. And we can fill that all and like, just do the room because it doesn't require us hiring like tradesmen to do loads of work and it doesn't require much time. This room probably, took us like a couple weeks alongside work, maybe a month. When did we start it? We only started it, like we were into December, like you will remember. I mean, obviously I pre-filmed it a little bit, but it was like mid or early to mid December. So it has only taken us a few weeks and we've been very busy with work. and we, tr we went away during that time. So if we were to find a pocket of time where we're not that busy with work, we could definitely do our bedroom quite quickly. And then it would really feel like the rooms are done, which would feel lovely to come home and get into your bedroom and it feel like it's your room. And we can slowly like acquire nice things on Facebook or in antique shops for these rooms to make them feel really cozy. And like they're, I just, I want my bedrooms to feel like, you know, when you go around someone's house um, and it's like maybe a friend's parents home and you can tell they've lived there for like 20 or 30 years and they have these cozy bedrooms and they required all these beautiful items in the rooms and it just feels all like, that's what I want them to feel like. Anyway, I've talked enough. Um, I'm gonna see if uh, she has replied to me about the stuff I wanna buy from her. And I'm gonna get Alex's opinion on some of these pictures and start hanging them. I forgot to film it, but there we are. You see how the green is like literally the same? It's actually wild. I think it looks great because we do live in Cornwall by the sea. So it's quite nice to have like sea pictures in the mm. house. It's odd because I know it's level. Yeah, because the ceiling's the not. Ceiling yeah, not look. Level. This is a, always gonna be the thing if you live in an old house, is it looks like it's, um, slightly. You just, yeah, so it looks like it's slightly going down this way because the ceiling goes up a bit in the middle, yeah. but it is level. You can even see like that, that's wonky. Yeah, but, that's, but it's in the middle and yeah. it's level and you're seeing, I'm, I'm already seeing the vision come together. Oh, Bob. <laughs> already seeing the vision come together. Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Little Bobby. So you kind of hold it, if you hold it at the top with just one hand and kind of go to the side. The top. <laughs> no, uh, like I was, so that I can kind of visualize. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, uh, in the middle. In the middle. Down, right? across, towards the door. You're like, is that strange? Cause it looks, it's weird cause it's a big mirror, but it's like, but it does actually weirdly create a lot of light. But it's like, is it weird? Should it be like, a, if you're gonna put a mirror there, should it be like a full length one? We don't have one. Or no. hang it the other way, hold it a portrait. Then again, is that strange? Cause you wouldn't stand there to check your outfit or. I mean, why not? I don't know. We're not all obsessed with looking at ourselves in the mirror. Um, Maybe the across one's more natural for a Hold people. it up again. Sideways or? Yeah, sideways. Oops. Down a bit. 
I just can't tell if that's kind of odd. I can't make my mind up about that one. Swap it for the bedroom one. The lady. Oh no, battery's dying. <laughs> Golf. See, that's way too. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. That just looks completely lost on that wall. Okay. So, hey. hold the bedroom lady. I got this in the. There's a charity shop in um, Penryn. If you live in Cornwall, you know the one I mean, the huge one. Yeah. Pull that up. He's going to play this game all day, isn't he? In the middle! It looks like the middle to me. No, in the middle of the chest of chairs. Oh, right. Sorry, I <laughs> so thought like this. Me. Hold it there so I can look. No! <laughs> God. So I think that looks lovely there. But then my thought was to have the mirror there. So can you also hold the mirror there? Because you could also put this on this wall. Yeah, that's nice. I'd probably prefer that. Yeah? Because you could put this. You could even in the future... We could even in the future put a little table next to that chair. So there is that option as well, to have the mirror there. But do you remember that that mirror was on this wall before? Yeah. Hold it up again. So there's that because someone might be tempted to do their makeup here, but then also would they really? Maybe. Put Maybe. it there. That painting looks absolutely made for this room, look. It's gorgeous. Again, it's got the green. It's got the green oh, background. It's like a pre-Raphaelite print. Mm. And the, the, the frame is stunning. I think that was like 15 pounds or something. Yeah, that's quite nice to that's see cool. when you walk in the room. I agree. Okay. Right, so Maddie's measured the wall. So I she never... knows where the middle is. Please, can we vote below? Leave a comment. Are you the sort of person to get those like laser beams out and start measuring the walls or are you me? Because I do not have the patience to measure the wall because Nobody is coming in the room and measuring the wall, so why should I? You just do it with your eyes. Because human beings' eyes can just figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like, I can gauge that's about halfway between okay. the door and the, the wall, right? Okay, we'll measure it after and see but how close you are. Sure. And, like, up the height, you can either do the thing where lots of people, they keep the height the same for every painting, but obviously that would be ridiculous, so I'm not going to do that. So instead, I just you kind of put it eyeball what you think. I so. I think personally for paintings that are like this, they should be about the height of the way you're looking. Obviously, some people are smaller than me, so I would go a little bit shorter than me because I'm a bit taller than the average person. And then if it's above a bed, obviously you hang it just a bit above the bed. So that's where name? I would hang it. Do you and also, nothing I say is gospel. This is just opinion. You drop the thing. I know it should be magnetized or something or sticky. No, it is, but. It's Usually for metal stuff. Um, do you want me to help? No. Okay. Is that about middle? Bit over this way? What do we think? S yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. And then you just push on it for 60 seconds. I love command strips. Thank you to everyone for recommending them. Genius! But please let me know your techniques. See, this looks crooked because the wall's crooked, but it's not. I painted the inside of this really badly look. But I also was just like, I'm going to paint this at some point, so... I just made some mistakes because I was like, oh, I'll go back over that with the white and then I never did. Maybe I will do when we do some other stuff in here, but yeah. like this, look at this bathroom. Like I've not even shown you this bathroom probably ever on YouTube. Like, let me show you. Number one, listen to how loud the extract fan is. Number two, this happened about a week after us moving in. It doesn't go back in and there's no way of it going back in. Oh, I always thought it was always like that. Huh? Yeah, it has always been like that. I mean, as in, like, I think it was pushed in a little bit, yeah. and then it kind of came out of it. But the, 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 this is not the right size. Whatever plumbing has gone underneath, obviously there's these pipes that can't go, can't go in. So that's great when you first walk in. And then there's all these holes, obviously, from where they've taken pictures down. And then there's like uh, paint. It's just, it just needs redoing. Um, it's brand new, really, actually. This was put in um, by the previous owner, so it's only like. 
maybe a couple of years old, but it's not been, I think basically they were half done. I don't think they finished because there's like, they've not finished painting because it looks like there's not, there needs another coat. So my plan for this room is to make it a really fun room where um, it's tiled. Like I like the half height tiles, but we go for like Victorian. What are you doing? Mm. We go for Victorian tiles. You know the ones that have the half height and they have like a little lip. It's almost like a dado rail all around the room. I'm gonna put a picture as inspiration. What are you doing? Just measuring for the dado rail. Oh my God. Um, and I was thinking checkered floor. Yeah, that'll do. Um, a really old toilet and yeah, like um, maybe a bright color or I was gonna think, I was thinking of doing wallpaper. Please let me know if you have a shower like this closed in, but in this close proximity to the walls, oh, can you have wallpaper or would that just be, would it be a waste and it'll all come up or would it be fine? Are there ways of like sealing it that it's actually okay? Cause it's not like this shower is used every day. The shower is used by guests. Like the shower, how often in a year will this shower get used? I think the only time we use this regularly was when our other bathroom was leaking. It will That's get used like a handful two, of times. 300 times a year. <sighs> no, I think it'll get used like five to 10 times in one year. Mm. Realistically. I wonder if there's a rule like um, like with electrics, the zones of a bathroom, how far away you can be. But there's so many bathrooms online that I see that have yeah. wallpaper and they've got showers in them. They're just but it bigger. it looks good on Pinterest. Up close, it's actually covered in mould. Let out. me know your experience. I'd love to know because I would love to do half height tiles, um, like checkered in some way and check maybe like the tiles be white. I saw this picture, I'll show you. It's like white tiles with a green dado rail and then checkered floor and then like a wallpaper. I think that'd be so cool with like a vintage paint, uh, mirror, you know, really like cool sink, all that kind of stuff. It's a very useful piece of space though because this is just above our um, stairs. So otherwise it would have been nothing. And so you've got an extra bathroom. So it's kind of genius. So there's that. Let me turn off the, the lights. So I've got this painting up. Got this painting up, it's already starting to look so good. Can't wait till that's changed. <laughs> I'm gonna that, because there is actually, I realized the, um, the little plastic ceiling rose thing. I mean, maybe there's a reason why it's not plugged in. I don't want to fiddle about with it, but maybe it could cover up most of that horrible mess. Okay. And anyways. There's lots of cobwebs on it. So what are we hanging next? Or are we just not hanging anything we're going out now? Because we need to figure out the mirrors. Um, because I'm basically ordering two botanical prints. I'm going to get them now on Facebook. So they could go there, but they also could get swallowed up by that wall. Because they're, I don't know what they're small, I think. And I was thinking maybe the botanical prints could potentially go either side. But then with that little bit, bit weird with the boat there. Or there. Or they could go, yeah, they could go here. Go and then. And the mirror there. But then what about this mirror? This mirror could go somewhere else. It doesn't have to go in this room. No. Could go in our bedroom, might yeah, be more useful in our bedroom when we get do it. To that. have a little mirror there just yeah. to check. That's where we do it. What? You said, you said something about it, that's where we do it. <laughs> that's where you would, you would use it like to check your makeup or something in your right own now. bedroom. That's where we do it. Way. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not everything needs to... Well, let's get the prints and we'll see. And the I table. I can't remember. I'd have to go rooting through the understairs cupboard for like the thing that would, the, the plasterboard hook things. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was saying to Alex yesterday as well, I like the different feels and the vibes of each bedroom. Um, I hate the, the gender specific colors and all that kind of stuff. I think oh. it's nonsense, but just so I can communicate to you what I mean, this is, it feels a little bit more, like it doesn't feel masculine because I hate that. I hate that terminology when you say something that feels masculine or feminine. I just think that's really like outdated way of talking about things. But you know what I mean. Yeah. That the, the, I can't think of a way of describing what I'm trying to say. Bold. It's bold. It's a bit more dark, a bit more earthy. Maybe that's better to describe it that way. And then the other room is a bit more um, light and... Um, floral. Floral and fun. So they've got different feelings, which is quite nice to have for two spare bedrooms. And obviously in the future, there'll probably be kids' rooms, but yeah, very, very cool. This is more grown up maybe. And then the other one's a bit more. Anyway, I'm really, um, 
I'm really finishing off Vlogmas with a bang with oh, my rambles. Really? <laughs> we've got our prints and then the boot we've got the table. Success. Success. <laughs> feeling a lot more festive because I've just got these delivered they're little LED lanterns I'm gonna give the glass a clean because that's been battered by the weather We've got a nice little reindeer our hello petal wreath which just looks gorgeous and then yesterday or the day before we put some lights up um, so that makes the front of the house look a lot more festive just ignore the guttering that looks awful and just yeah, and then we've got some more over there, but very happy with that. And I really want to, this was um, this was in the house. I've just put these out just now because we were emptying out the bedroom, um, so I need to put them away. But I want to put like a little plant in here. Um, it's an oak barrel. I know like probably that should be kept inside, but realistically we're never going to find a place for it inside. So I want to put like a plant in there. I think that, that could look nice as well. Fun fact, this is our old front door. Um, it's like sealed up, so that goes where the, that's literally the kitchen, and that's where the fridge in the corner thing is. So that used to be a door, but it's just nothing now. <laughs> I also put some lights up here, and yesterday I picked a load of figs. I'm gonna turn the lights on. We have a fig tree out the front, and this is not even half of them. So the fig tree is, just there in front of where the, the car is and the pile of granite and there's so many more and loads fell off um but i want to make some fig jam i think last year i tried one and it tasted really horrible so i was like i'm so confused so i'm going to try a couple and see what they taste like and then if they don't taste good i'm going to make fig jam because i figured that has to taste good so we'll see but i'm going to try and do that over the christmas period i'm not going to put pressure on myself to do it for christmas because there's so much else to do, um, but I'll at least do it over the break. And I'm so happy we've got Freddie's flowers. Alex definitely did this to cheer me up. Not that I'm sad, <laughs> but he just knew that I loved it. And this is gonna make the house feel festive. Wonderful Christmas time. So let's see what we have in here. And I'll show you if I do them. Oh yeah, we had these last year. I'm not a huge fan of the silver spray painted things, so I'm not gonna use those. But um, yeah, we had these last year. I wonder if they're different. They are different. So it looks like we've got two different... They're different? No, they're the same. So basically I can have two lovely big floral displays. So we've obviously got that one that I showed you um, earlier in the month from Sainsbury's that is still going strong. Like, I've not even had to dry them out yet. I've just refreshed the water and... It still looks really good. I mean, the only thing is I suppose these are going a bit dry. And then I've got this foliage that I got from Hello Petal. I just took it out of the water just now. And I'm so annoyed because I just haven't had the time to do anything with this. My plan was to decorate the fireplace in here or above there, or the fireplace in the living room. And I think that I'm gonna have to do it um, probably tomorrow or Christmas Eve. And you won't see it i'm sad i wanted to show you how i did it but if i do it this year the next year i can learn and do it do it then i think i'm going to use like command hooks to sort of hang them on or use some string or something um and potentially use this eucalyptus to decorate the table but in the new year i will show you clips of what the table decoration looks like because i'm thinking i could weave the eucalyptus through the middle um and make it and the berries as well make it look very festive and then this big one down here I think I'm going to use above the fireplace. But let's um, get the furniture out of the car. Alex is walking Roxy, that's why I'm on my own. But I can show you all the bits we got. There it is. I think it looks
looks so good. Look at that. This is £25 and um, I'll show it to you maybe another day when it's light outside. Uh, I'll turn that off so you can kind of see the details. It's got a little, this is a plant stand technically. It's got a little drawer there. Maybe it is better with the light on. I thought the light off might help a bit. Um, and then it's got this lovely sort of shape to the front there. And it's kind of like a stained mahogany. There are marks, uh, which is why it's £25. Because look, there's loads of ring marks and everything. And it's been um, polished or something. But if I was really bothered by it, what I definitely could do is sand the top and restain it. But I'm not bothered by it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some books and I'm going to get a coaster. And then down there, I'm also going to put books so you can't even see it. This one looks, has. I feel like it has a similar vibe. I did ask some of you whether you thought that having these dark sort of woods looked funny with this. But all of you sort of said, no, it's fine. And I agree because I think actually having non-matching sets works great. And I feel like the vibe in here is really looking good. This lampshade is crooked. It's like it's been bent. But yeah, it's really beginning to feel lovely. And I think the one thing it does need is the curtains. And I think it's going to make such a difference in here when we have the curtains, because I can make them really floral and delicate. And I think that will kind of soften the vibe. Gosh, the bed looks so gorgeous. I'm so pleased. The only issue is it's slightly lower. No one's ever going to notice that. But look at the lamps. And imagine when that lovely chandelier is up that will soften it too because it's a nice sort of delicate um chandelier with all these lovely bits of glass and it's that cream color so i think that will really like soften the feel and make it look lovely in here but i'm just really loving how it's coming together and these are the prints so they are definitely um faded they're like washed they've kind of gone this bluey color which you know some people might not like uh, this one's almost better because it's cream. But that's got a very bluey colour. But I think they look very cool. Um, this one is kind of loose off the back. So I might tape it and then hang it. But they're way bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I actually do think that these two could go on that wall together. And that would solve the problem that I was worried about. Because they look like a matching pair. And I think they would fill the space. Let me just experiment. Because they are big. So if you hung them both next to one another like this and this, I think they fill the space. And then I think that the mirror can go above the chest of drawers. And I really hope if there's one thing I can teach you or give advice for is to buy things secondhand on Facebook Marketplace or go into your local antique shops, charity shops, uh, reclamation yards before getting new furniture because of sustainability reasons, because there's so much furniture out there that is ready to be used in a home and there's so much beautiful furniture that could either be upcycled or just used and appreciated for the fact that not, things, not everything is perfect and that's fine, but also because it saves you a lot of money. So I know there's loads of websites online that sell vintage uh, furniture and probably they're in mint condition and they are like worth a lot of money potentially, but let's be honest, None of us, I mean, I'm per certainly not going around people's homes and knowing whether their furniture is like, is expensive. Like vintage furniture looks like vintage furniture to me. And the amount of times I have seen furniture that looks exactly like this pot stand, exactly like this table, exactly like the, especially actually the chest of drawers in our other spare bedroom. And it's hundreds of pounds. And it's probably because it's in mint condition, like I said. Somebody has sourced it, I understand. And don't get me wrong here, because I know that I've talked about this before and someone said that they were a vintage collector and they were saying that their prices are justified, 100%. Don't get me wrong when I'm saying this. If you are a vintage seller, 1000% your prices are justified because you are sourcing the items, you know their worth, and you are also um, providing a service to people because they aren't having to hunt them out themselves. You are delivering them to them or you've got them in a shop ready to go. You're curating it for them. Thousand percent. Like it's honestly my dream job. If I don't do YouTube in the future, I'm going to be owning a vintage shop somewhere, um, with a cafe downstairs, a vegan cafe downstairs with a vintage shop selling vintage furniture. And of course I will, I would charge for the service of curating that vintage furniture and finding it. But what I'm saying is if you are on a budget and if you are trying to be more sustainable 
and you don't want to spend money on the service of someone finding that furniture for you and sourcing, you know, really uh, perfect pieces of furniture that don't have marks or nicks, then go to Facebook and go to vintage and um, antique shops and charity shops that are affordable because it is shocking the stuff that you can get. And a lot of the time people are like, how do you deck out a house? Um, when you've just moved in and lots of people go to Ikea and go to these places because they can't afford. It's so much cheaper to do it this way, trust me. And it makes your house look expensive. It makes everything look like you have, you know, maybe accumulated that from family members over the years and you've spent a fortune when in reality, that cost me 35 pounds to get that table and those two paintings. Like 35 pounds and then the lights, the table and the chair, I think, and the mirror, the mirror, the tables, the chair, 110 pounds so I've spent 145 pounds under 150 pounds on all of the furniture in here bar the furniture I already owned so I already owned the, the the bed we got that when we moved in I think that maybe that was five ten quid from a charity shop like literally I got that for the wedding didn't use it and then this again was like five or ten quid from a charity shop so you can deck out a whole room of furniture with paintings and everything for like a couple of hundred pounds if that and you don't need you don't need to go do anything fancy. You can also get beds. Like the other bed in the other room is second hand. This is from from Loaf, and we splashed out on it because it's a gorgeous bed, and we needed a king bed. But just saying, go look on Facebook and persevere. I know lots of people will say that they can't find stuff. If you're living in Cornwall, you're lucky because there's so much stuff on there. But you have to persevere. You have to look every day, and you have to like find the right things. Anyway, I'm going to try and put these paintings up myself. Maybe Alex is gonna kill me when he comes home, but I'm gonna give it a go. I know I just said I don't measure stuff, but if I've got two of items, then I will loosely measure just to make sure I'm putting them on the floor as well. So, this needs to go over more. 86. 80, so that can go over. So I can either have it central to the whole wall or central to what from when the sort of bedside table start. I think I want it central to the whole wall. Now, are they too far apart? You want them to look like they're together, but also not too together. so much they look even better up i cannot believe that they're both 10 pounds both of them for 10 pounds five pound each the frames alone should be more than that like and look how gorgeous i really am drawn to botanical paintings but it seems to be a theme and it's like not even something i've instinctually done sorry i mean um it's not something i've purposefully done but the painting in our kitchen is of a boat and there's also a painting in our living room of a boat that I bought. And all the paintings, all the, the prints in the spare bedroom, the other one, are botanical prints. And same as downstairs. I seem to exclusively have boating paintings, botanical prints, and um, like kind of still life like of fruits or flowers. Seems to be the thing. But I just absolutely love these. I feel like it just, the gold, the gold looks so good with the green. And maybe you might think they look too small for this whole big wall, but for a bedroom, I actually think it's fine. I think it works in a bedroom. I don't really want to have big paintings in a bedroom, like huge ones. I think it looks good with small ones. The only issue is you can kind of see the command hooks. The command strips when you walk past here. No, no one's ever gonna see that. Look at them. Look so good. Honestly, really looks amazing. Got some new ones from Anika. 
in Truro and they're just an antique brass and I got a few of them so that we can have them all the same in the bedrooms so I can just replace them all. Um, it had two in here for some reason. I don't know why I didn't fill that. I'm going to have to go and fill that. But that can go there. And that will finish the door off. I have cleaned the glass on the lanterns so they look so much better. Alex is gonna put that away in a sec. And I've moved this one over here because I thought it looked better sort of like this. This granite is meant to be under the window. Um, I also put it under the window and they moved it. Oh, what's this? This has fallen out somewhere. Um, yeah, that's like a piece from the back which we might use at the back but I thought if it was to go under the window you could use it to sort of sit on and take your boots off it looks a bit odd there but yeah very very festive Now we have some beautiful fresh, fresh flowers for in here and they they look a bit boring now because they aren't in bloom but in the next day or so these will come out and they will look really incredible and it just goes to show how red will look great in here so the curtains and accent colours definitely are going to have some ready pink tones. Um, I really want a massive vase for this windowsill. Um, but that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So the bed is made and actually, miraculously, this um, cover that was in the house when we moved in, it was in a cupboard, works actually really beautifully because of the painting, because the boats have the blues in it and it actually looks really good. I didn't think it would look this good and I'm really happy with how the room is turning out. Jump on it? <laughs> no, no. You can do. No, I wanted you to, I wanted a reaction from you but you didn't seem fussed. Because we spent ages trying to find the sheet for it. We need a new duvet because you can see how flat it is. It's like literally glued to the mattress. This is like... How did you describe it? I said it was a crepe when it should be a fluffy pancake. No, that was one of them, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say the other one. But in our other bedrooms, we got new duvets when we moved in. They're this cluster fibre vegan duck, like an eco duck feather so it's not duck feather it's like a eco version of it and it makes the beds like loads of you ask me what bedding we have i'll leave a link to it's called the linen cupboard and that's where we get the pillows from and they are vegan duck feather like eco-friendly duck feathers but the this duvet is from ikea years ago and it's just it looks so flat but it's looking very classy very beautiful um, loved your suggestions to reupholster this in the fabric we choose for the curtain. This is here temporarily. Um, it's an embroidered fabric and it's got this beautiful edging. So I was thinking if I take this edging off, I mean, I'm really worried about how I'm going to do this because I've never done anything like it. Um, but I could potentially ask where I get the curtains made if they do that kind of thing, if they reupholster furniture. I'm not sure if I want to leave it in here 
for when people come because it looks i almost wonder if i should just sell it because i don't know if the space because it's going to be an expensive thing to reupholster if, if i don't do it myself no i'm selling it there's not enough space it's not a huge bedroom you walk in that's there it's kind of in, it's it's imposing yeah no i'm not gonna but i love the blue and the green together and we've just got to get a few books maybe for the side tables and yeah let me know any suggestions you have and i can do the full makeover video in the new year because i'll definitely make some changes and add some things we've got to hang the mirror got to hang this and um yeah put some nice things on here i'm gonna go to pinterest that's what i always do i go to pinterest and then i look on facebook for items that i can see on pinterest and then i put it together so it is now the end of vlogmas <sighs> the very last video of vlogmas settling in for christmas it is what is it christmas eve 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 is that right yeah is that what it is yeah i just had some onion rings i can smell that's yeah. disgusting <gasps> yes it's eve 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 and we're going out this evening to see your dad because mm -hmm. he's come down he's staying in st ives so we're going to go for a meal and then relax for christmas boy Oh, I need to sleep. My body. I don't think I've ever been this tired. Yeah. But I hope you all Hashtag have. Sponsored. <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed Vlogmas this year. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. We're going to be signing off. And we'll see you in the New Year. I think every Christmas Vlogmas will do a new bedroom <laughs> renovation. Oh, we've set ourselves up. It's going to have to be a tradition that we do a, bed a room yeah. every Christmas. Although I'm not sure I can wait another year for our bedroom. No, we're doing our... Done. I already said that. We're going to do our bedroom okay, soon. But um, there might be a giveaway clip after this. And I filmed that a few days ago, so I won't be referencing saying goodbye or being the last no. Vlogmas. And if there isn't one, that's because I ran out of giveaway stuff. Because I... <laughs> it's got to the point that... This, everyone's waiting for the grand finale giveaway. Honestly, next year I'm doing a giveaway, but I'm going to do one a week because it was a lot. Yeah um and we'll do like bundles of stuff maybe because it was too much doing it every day but it was a really fun thing to do and it just makes me so happy seeing all your comments and also the people who've won the giveaways you've sent the cutest emails and been so grateful and i'm so happy that you get to get these amazing gifts it just has made me very happy and feel very connected to all of you so it's been a very fun thing to do and i couldn't i couldn't fault it it, it was just it was just a lot in, alongside <laughs> vlogmas yeah. as well but yeah, goodbye from us. Frankie says, Happy Christmas. Give me food. He says, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year. Get those purrs on camera. Oh, gosh. We'll see you in 2023. Another year. <laughs> Come on, do the Christmas <laughs> spirit. Oh, it's going to be so exciting, isn't it, Frankie? Come on, he's dribbling on you. Oh, good. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas.